Greetings from Nizhny Novgorod, and um, my name is Marina Aksonova. I represent Minin University. The full name of our university is Nizhny Novgorod State Pedagogical University, uh, which is the oldest uh, university in the region. It was founded in 1911, and um, a couple of years uh, ago, we made some rebranding and we named the university after a great patriot, Cosma Minin. So what uh, I would like to tell you about uh, our university, uh, we are located in Nizhny Novgorod, which is very, um, very close to Moscow and to St. Petersburg, and it is very, very uh, convenient to travel for our students. Uh, three hours, three, four hours to Moscow and about eight hours to St. Petersburg. Um, this is our positions in various ratings. Uh, the university is not very large, so we are not a classical big university. There are six faculties, and I will tell you shortly about them a bit later. Um, there are more than 10,000 students uh, from different regions of Russia and also from various countries of the world. So we are very open to uh, all kinds of international co cooperation, and we offer more than 150 educational programs. Uh, so this is our university. We try to be very modern and we try to give the best to our students to provide them with all kinds of equipment, laboratories and so on. So about um, the faculties. There are six faculties, uh, Faculty of Humanities, Faculty of Management, Social and Technical Services, uh, Faculty of Natural Sciences, Mathematics and Computer Sciences, Faculty of Psychology and Pedagogics, Faculty of Physical Education and Sports, Faculty of Design, Fine Arts and Media Technologies. Um, the education is provided in Russia. So um, our Indian applicants uh, would have to do a preparational course before they begin studies, um, their professional education. Uh, but with some exceptions, so we make an exception for Faculty of Art and Design for programs um, of music and also there is an exception in faculty of sports where students can begin their education and at the same time they begin to learn Russian which is quite necessary if you live in Russia and uh, you don't want to miss the opportunity to learn another language and to speak it. Uh, of course, we provide uh, education online and uh, also students, if it is allowed, they can come and live and study here in Nizhny Novgorod. Um, as for student life at our university, it is really bright and very interesting and there are various kinds of uh, cultural events, social events, sport activities. And um, we have cooperation agreements and we collaborate with many countries uh, with uh, from all over the world. We really look forward to uh, welcome Indian students. We haven't had many of them, but um, as I have said, we are very open. I would like to show uh, some, uh, to demonstrate uh, what students can do at our university. So um, most of our foreign students come from CIS countries, also from African and Arabic countries. And we try to engage them uh, not only in professional, types of activities, but also in extracurriculum sports events and cultural events. So every year we hold the uh, various contests and exhibitions uh, which are devoted to national cultures because we strongly believe uh, that we should support and we should learn from our um, foreign students as well. Thank you very much. I try to be very short. Sure.